So just sit toward the front of your chair and hips, knees, ankles, toes lined up. And then sitting bones, shoulders, crown reaching up so you're all nice and straight. And just take a moment to breathe. And remember, you want to be focused inward, doing your personal practice. So if it feels wrong, don't do it. Just modify, minimize, do whatever you need to do to make sure it's right for you. So as we start, we're just going to bring the ribs back and round the shoulders forward and tuck your chin. So you're stretching the back of your body a little bit. And then as you inhale, round forward, lifting your chin, pulling your heart and your ribs forward, shoulders down, coming into a little back bend. So if I were seated sideways, you could probably see that better. So, we're just starting straight, and then we're ribs in, rounding forward into the forward bend. Tuck your chin in. And then lift your heart, lift your chin, looking up, keep the shoulders down. Coming into that back bend, so you've got a little curve to the back of your body. And just do that a couple of times, following your breath, exhaling into the forward bend. And then inhaling, rolling up into the back. And just moving your spine slowly. So just go ahead and sink into those sitting bones and make sure everything stays aligned as you just move through your spine. And then come back up to neutral with your spine nice and straight. We're going to bring the hands back onto the sides of your chair as much as you can. And again, we're just going to allow your chest to rise, looking up toward the ceiling, kind of pulling your elbows back and in. So again, a little bit of a back bend. And then exhale, and again, a little bit of a forward bend, releasing hands to your left. And then coming back to neutral, and we're going to bring the legs a little bit apart now. So turning from your hips, Bring the toes out toward the sides so that your knee and your toes go the same direction. And we're going to do the same thing. Clasp the edges of your chair a little bit. Pull your elbows in. Lift your heart, looking up. Nice upper body back bend across the chest. And then tuck your chin in and release the hands to your legs. And just roll as far forward as it feels okay. And then rolling back slowly up, see if you can feel the bones moving back into place. And again, coming upright into your straight back position. And then one more time, holding the chair, lengthening, chest rising. And this time, clasp your hands behind you. And again, tucking your chin, roll your body down, and let your hands come up. And again, only as far forward as your body wants to go. And then again, starting slowly rounding all the way back up and back into your seated position. So feel the little circulation through your body, through your arms, through your spine. And then one more time, final time. Again, hands to the chair, lifting your heart, looking up a little back bend. And then chin coming forward, clasp your hands the opposite way this time behind you. And again, tucking your chin, rolling down, letting those arms come up. And again, rolling back and into your seated position. And then bring the legs back into the front position. So as you're in that position, you want to make sure that everything is again straight. So hips, knees, ankles, toes, everything to the front. Ribs in, get that core supporting your spine. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, crown to the ceiling. And we're going to bring the arms up and cross them at your shoulders. And then just tip one elbow up and the other one down, leaning slightly to the side. And then back to the center, bring your arms the opposite way crossed. 
And again, just tipping to the side. And back up. And release your arms. So a little side stretch on that one. So we're going to do it again, slightly different. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling. And then bring the palms of your hands behind your head with the elbows straight out to the side. And again, we're going to just tip over to the side, bring one elbow up and one down. So a little bit more stretch on that side. And then pivoting back up and pivoting to the other side. One elbow up, one down. And again, pivoting back up. And then bring your arms out, palms down, and to your sides. So take a moment feeling your sides. We're going to do one more. This is a little bit more strenuous on the hips, so be careful if your hips feel like it's too much for you. So this time, we're going to take the leg into a gate pose. So keep your knee as straight to the front on the one leg, and then we're going to pivot the other leg out to the side as far as it'll go, and then straighten that leg. So you can keep either the toes up or the toes down on that extended leg. This leg should be as much to the front still as possible with the hips open. Bring your arm along that leg that you extended, other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, over your shoulder, and then again, sliding into the side stretch. So your arm in the air is next to your ear, and this hand is just sliding down that leg as far as it wants to go. So you want to feel the stretch through the ribs, through the side of your body. Reach out through your fingertips and your head, and then slide back up. Bring that arm out and down. And then we're going to turn this leg in and back to the front. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, a side stretch. So pivot that leg out as much as it'll go, trying to keep your body still facing forward. Straighten that leg, either toes to the floor or flexed in the heel, either way. Leg as straight as it wants to be on that extended leg. Again, the other arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, right over your shoulder. Shoulder blades, remember, stay down. And then slide that hand along the leg, coming into your side stretch. Reach your head and your hand up and out as you slide as far over as you want to go. And again, come on, sliding back up. Bring this arm out, palm to the floor, and down, hand to your leg. Bend that knee in, and pivot around to move the center. So we're back in our straight seated position. Hips, ankle, hips, knees, ankles, toes, everything lined up in those 90 degree turns. You're sitting on your sitting bones and your spine is stretching up nice and straight and open. And we're going to do our little twist. So for the first one, we're going to take the opposite hand to the knee, and then we're going to bring that shoulder down toward that knee. And you're just going to kind of look toward the side, and your whole spine turns a little bit into that twist. And then sitting back up, bringing that shoulder back into alignment, Hands back to both legs. So just feel your spine a little bit twisted. And once again, hand to the opposite knee and shoulder coming forward, turning your whole body to look toward the side and a little bit further toward the ceiling. And then again, coming back up, untwisting, turning back to the center. So take a moment again, checking your alignment, making sure that spine stays nice and stretched open. So remember, you want to be on your sitting bones, kind of toward the front edge of your chair, crown reaching up, up, up toward the ceiling, shoulder blades, shoulders down, and then cross your arms so that your hands come up out on your shoulders, with those elbows out to the front. And another twist. So stretch up through the crown, and then turn your whole body as you exhale and move the whole spine, whole body, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything, turning to look to the side 
not just turning your head. And then take a breath. And as you exhale, we'll rotate back to the center. And again, we're going to switch the arms so that the other one's on top. And keep those elbows up about shoulder level, stretching out. Round to the ceiling, open your spine, exhale, and turn your whole body to go the opposite way, oh, keeping those knees to the front. So whole body, hips with shoulder, turning, not just your hip. And again, lengthen up as you breathe, and then on an exhalation, turn back to the center. And release your arms. So feel your whole body a little bit more energized. And then we're going to bring the arms up to the center, right about shoulder level. Make sure your knees are above your ankles and everything's still lined up. And then we're just going to lift the hips off the chair, sitting bones up. So your knees are bent, you're in chair position, squat. And then inhale and stand and release your arms. And then we're going to move to the side and we're going to use the chair. So you might want to turn the chair so that you can stand at the back. So be a comfortable distance from the chair that you can kind of barely touch it. You're just using it for a little bit of alignment. If you don't need the chair at all, that's okay. You can just be standing upright. We're going to, again, keep everything lined up and just bend your knee and bring it up a little or more so that it's parallel, thigh parallel to the floor and then you can flex your heel foot. And if you're holding on to the chair, that's perfectly okay. You just want to be grounded into that one foot and lifting that leg so that it's perpendicular. And then bring that leg back down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So if you're not holding the chair, remember, you want to make sure that that foot is secure across the base of your toes and into the heel evenly and everything is stacked for support. And then again, just lifting. You can keep the toe down slightly or you can bring it all the way into that 90 degree position. And you can be holding onto the back of the chair if that's more comfortable for you. And then again, Allow that leg to come back down so that you're again lined up in that universe. So we're going to move the leg to the side a couple different ways. So again, you can be holding on to the chair for that support, or you can just be in your balance practice. So go ahead and sink into that foot, and we're going to bring one leg out just a little bit to the side, and lift it a little bit if you feel that that's comfortable for you. So the foot still is facing the front, the knee is still facing the front, and we're working that hip rotator joint a little bit. And then bring that leg down, stand into that leg, and again, holding the chair or not, your choice. And if you're not, you can put your hands on your hips, it makes it a little bit easier for you. And then the foot comes to the side, and a little bit further up, or you're holding on to the chair to do that. So again, it's just the leg is out to the side. Just a little bit. And, uh, we're going to do the same thing again out to the side, but this time we're going to turn the leg. So rotate the leg first so that that hip, knee, and toes are pointing out to the side. And we're going to again lift the leg a little bit. So the standing leg is still facing the front, and you're giving a little bit more work through that hip and glute as you raise that leg out to the side. So the toes are going out. Again, you can have it flexed or pointed either way, it doesn't matter. And then turn it back to the center and bring it back down. Same thing on the other side. And again, you can be facing the chair or you can move the chair to the opposite side. The leg comes out, turns to the side, pointed or flexed and raise that foot as high as it feels comfortable. And again, you can be balanced on the one leg or you can be holding the chair either way is fine. And then turn the foot back to the center and bring that leg back down. So a little bit more work through those hip rotators on that one. 
And then we're going to stretch the hip flexor a little bit, a little bit of a stick balance on this one. So again, facing the chair, you can be holding it, or you can have your hands on your hips. And you want to be pivoting at the top of the thigh. So get your standing leg connected, everything stacked and supported. Remember that core is activated to support you. And you're going to bring the foot that's not grounded back just a little bit. And then keeping your whole body lined up, you're going to pivot at the top of the thigh. So if you have your hands on the chair or not, just make sure that you're pivoting at that point of your thigh. Just coming into straight body stick position. And pivot back up, both feet connected. Same thing with the other leg. So again, ground first. Find that hip joint, stretch up, bring the foot back if you're going to lift. And again, pivoting, keeping your body nice and straight, just coming as far as your foot wants to lift. And your body pivots. So again, toes can be either pointed or flexed on that hip behind you. And then again, slowly pivoting back up and releasing. So feeling your body, noticing a little bit more core work having been in that supported straight position. Then we're going to work the quads a little bit more. So again, you can be holding on to your chair or not your choice. Sink into your grounded foot, get all that support through the body, stacked up through your body. And then we're just going to bend the knee and bring that foot behind you. Kind of perpendicular to your body. And you can be in your balance or you can be supported slightly, just gently on the fingertips to the chin. Again, that core is supported. And slowly bring that leg back down. And we'll do the other side. Hands on the chair or not. You can again have them on your hips if you prefer. Sink into your grounded foot and bend the opposite knee. And again, just a nice 90 degree angle with your leg as you're in that position. So the knees should still be right about next to each other as you're doing this. And again, exhale and release. And then one more, just a little addition to that one that we just did, sinking into that foot that you're grounded into, bringing that foot up. And this time, kind of pull it in a little bit more so you feel a little bit more work through the thigh, kind of bringing the heel up towards your sitting bone. And again, hands on the chair or not your choice. And exhale, foot back to the floor. Shift to the other leg, and same thing. Hands on the chair at your side, on your hips, and bend that leg. And then draw the heel a little further up towards your sitting bone. Knees again still right next to each other, thighs flowing up. Take a breath, stretch the head up, and then exhaling, bring that foot back down. And we're going to go back to our seated position. So come to the front of your chair. So everything lined up, mountain pose. Bring those arms straight out to the front and just bend your knees and come into your squat and right into your sitting bones at the edge of the chair. So take a moment, making sure that everything's lined up, knees under, you know, knees ahead of your hips, ankles under your knees, everything in position. And then we're going to kind of continue a little bit with what we were doing. So core supported, spine straight, sitting bones toward the edge, front edge of the chair. And then we're just going to lift one leg up off the floor. So 90 degrees still, foot flexed, knee right in front of the hip, everything lined up. And then bring that leg down. And the other leg up. So you're on your sitting bones, that upper part of your body is nice and straight, and then bring it down. Okay, going a little further on this one, leg comes up, this time I'm going to straighten the knee, or straight out to the front if that works for you. And then bending the knee, and returning the foot to the floor. Same thing, other side. 
Lift that foot. Straighten the knee as much as feels okay. Bend the knee. Flip the foot back down. Okay, we're gonna keep the sitting bones connected, keep the upper body upright, and then turn your legs slightly out to the sides. And then again, we're gonna straighten the legs. And then hold your chair and slide the legs together and bring them back up. And then slide the legs together, bend your knees, and come back to your seated position. So take a moment there, just feel your body. Notice how it's working. We're going to bring the arms out to the sides, turn the palms to the front, and bring your hands up, goddess position. So a little shoulder work for us now. So keep those elbows right at shoulder level, palms flat. We're gonna pivot just the hands, keeping those arms perpendicular, and then back up. Spreading your fingers just slightly, shoulder, shoulder blades down, and one more time, pivot, forearms flat to the floor, and then back into goddess. And then turn the hands to the side, out to the side, and back down to your sides. Take a moment just feeling your body, noticing how everything is lined up. Feel a little bit more work through those shoulders. Okay, a little more core work on this one. Bring one foot out to the front, flex the heel, and push out through the bottom of your foot. Now, knee is up toward the ceiling, toes are up toward the ceiling. Bring those thumbs into your hip joint and leading with your heart and your chin, bring your body forward toward the leg. So just come as far into that forward pivot as feels good for you. And then sitting back up, release your hands, bend your knee, Flip back in. Feel the core, works a little harder. And same thing with the other leg. Move that foot out, flex the heel, push it away. Again, thumbs into that hip crease and chest and chin leading. The whole upper body stays straight as you come with your ribs toward the leg. Take a moment, stretch through the whole body. Chin a little bit in if you're feeling like the back of your neck is a little bit too crunched into a bend. And then inhaling, sitting back up and releasing your hands, bring the leg back in. One more time on that one, very similar. Slide the foot out, flex the heel, thumbs to that hip crease, pivot chest and chin forward. Again, keeping your back as flat as you can, staying there or lifting that leg a little bit off the floor for a little bit more intensity of everything. And then heel back down, slide that foot back as you pull it up and release. Take a moment, just feeling a little bit more energized. And same thing on the other side, leg out, heel flexed, hip crease with the thumbs, pivot the chest forward, find your position, stay there, or lift that other leg. And again, into as intense or not a position as your body allows. And then again, foot coming down, body coming up, releasing back to your seated position. Take a moment, just feel what's going on in your body. Now, a little bit more work on this one. We're gonna go into a twist. This time we're gonna bring that leg out, flex the heel, and see if you can bring it up parallel to your other leg. And then cross your arms in front of you, 
lengthen up through your spine and exhale, turning all the way, whole body, hips, ribs, shoulder, turning toward that leg that's up. If the leg being up is too much, just keep the foot bent down toward the floor. And then exhale, turning back to the center and release your hot arms and bring the leg down. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. So again, leg comes out, straighten, flexing the foot, stretching out through the bottom of the foot, up through the crown. Clasp your arms the opposite way for the twist. And again, lengthening the spine so it can move, exhaling, and turning your whole body to look toward the side as that foot stays out to the front. And then lengthening up, exhaling, turning back to the center, releasing your hands and your foot, feeling all that energy through your body. So options, it's time for our relaxation. So you can stay in your chair, and if you want to, you can kind of sink back and just allow your arms to drape across the back of the chair, lifting your heart toward the ceiling, a little heart opening position for the relaxation. You can tuck your chin a little bit to the chest if that it seems to be straining your neck too much. Or, of course, you can come up and to the mat into corpse position or onto your bed or couch or some other place that you might want to be relaxing. So coming to the mat, if you're coming all the way down to the floor or finding your seated position that's comfortable for you or going into any other relaxation position, just allow your body to sink into that surface beneath you. So just scan through your body, finding anything that's tense or tight. Breathing deeply. Just allowing your whole body to relax. So allow your breath to deepen and your body just to grow heavy, sinking into the surface beneath you. If you're in your chair, just let that chest keep expanding. If you're on the floor or the couch or the bed, just sink your shoulders and shoulder blades down into that surface. Take a moment to lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, just let all your muscles soften through your legs, through your belly through your torso, your arms. Soften your neck, your jaw, your face. Breathe a little more deeply and as you exhale, send any tightness out. Just release any tension anywhere in your body. And as your body relaxes, just let thoughts of your body release from your mind. As you do that, remember, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them drift away as easily as your breath. As you focus on dismissing your thoughts, just allow your awareness, forget the past, stop worrying about the future. Just let each thought drift in and out, just like your breath flowing in and out, without attention. No need for awareness of the past or anticipation of the future. Just let each thought disappear, unneeded, unnoticed. And as your thoughts begin to drift more easily, just let awareness of your mind release some your attention, releasing your body and your mind. Just focus inward. Feel the peace within. Let it grow in your body. 
Filling your body with peace. Filling your mind with peace. Just be peace. And of course, if you'd like to keep relaxing longer, feel free to do that as long as you would like. And when it's time for you to return to the moment, just bring energy and awareness back to your body to the rhythm of the moment. And just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you. Give yourself a little stretch through the spine. Moving your arms, your hands, your fingers, your legs, your hips, your toes. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, just give your body a little bit of a squeeze, letting it know you appreciate its work in yoga today and every day. And then if you're on the floor, just roll to the side and sit back up and get ready the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.